Presley was very sick. One night I went in to check on her and she was gray and not responding at all. The next thing I knew, we were being transported to London and um, they worked on her the whole way here. We got here, she was in a coma on life support and um, yeah, everything fell apart. The nurses said, you know, we're gonna get you a room at Ronald McDonald House. I was like, no, I'm staying here with my daughter. I'm sorry, but I can't leave her side. And they were like, just, just go look. Just go look. You don't have to stay there, just go look. It's not what I was expecting, I'm gonna be honest. So when I looked at it and yeah, I wanted to stay here, definitely. It felt like home. <laughs> what I did was have my mom and my grandma come up. So they stayed in the room and I still stayed with my daughter, but they were comfortable here. And that way I still had a place to come and shower every day. Plus I had that support with me, which was so nice. I was always back and forth. I was going, so I would grab food from the kitchen, grab my coffee, like sit down, enjoy a meal, and still be there for Presley. Like it was, it was really nice. We stayed here for, say 111 days. After a while, you get comfortable. This becomes your home. I've met people here that will be lifelong friends because they just get it, right? And they're always someone that I can talk to about anything now. Presley's a lot better today. She's walking, she's talking, she's eating, she's playing, she's running, she's jumping. Um, she's a chatterbox. I have full faith. She's gonna prove everyone wrong. I feel like thank you will never be enough for them because they've done a lot for me.